So everyone probably has like a burning question in the back of their heads, which is why did Nikola Motors just go from like a $65 stock pre-market of June 2nd all the way to a $58 stock with a negative 13.22% drop in a single day? There is usually some major things and major catalysts that made the overall company do this. You can clearly see at the low point, it was at negative 16%, and then it went back up. The after hours are kind of green, but of course, a lot of people, especially the guys on my Discord, have been saying there should be a major drop for Nikola Motors because it's literally a company with a 20 to $25 billion market cap the same size as Ford, but without a single sale. So the whole reason why that's going around is because of the thing swirling around the Nikola Badger, which is one of their latest vehicles for everyday usage like me and you. And the overall Badger, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty awesome. It looks like a regular truck, but it's electric. There are hydrogen fuel cells in it. It's up to 600 mile range and it looks really, really nice. And so far it looks very different from the crazy futuristic cyber truck. If you guys don't like the Cybertruck, you're probably going for the Nikola Motors. It has a very industrial look, and so far, it's pretty appealing. But of course, the stock is something totally different. It's dropped so much. You would think with reservations over for the Badger, things should be going really good for NKLA. But it's the opposite. The stock dropped a lot simply because they failed to reveal the actual reservation numbers for the pickup truck and the stock is going down. The thing about this is you should definitely tell your investors how many reservations that you got. Tesla, they did really well the Cybertruck because they straight up just said that they had about 146,000 reservations and there are like more coming. And the thing about Trevor Milton on Twitter is it's really confusing if you look at his tweets. You can see that he just keeps talking about the reservations. I mean, just give us a nice, cookie cutter answer. There's so many different things, like a bunch of different numbers. It's super confusing. What I really want is a nice one cookie cutter number just to tell us how many reservations you got on that day. He keeps talking about future projections. Now, Trevor Milton is a pretty optimistic guy. I mean, making all these different things like these hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and how he's hyping up the stock is a very good thing. I'm not gonna lie, like Nikola Motors, they do have a really good future, but they have been called out by a lot of major hedge funds and investors saying how it's just a hype company, pure speculation, which I truly agree, because when you have a market cap the same size as Ford, but you don't make a single car, it's a little bit worrisome. Keep in mind that Ford is already researching the electric F-150 pickup truck, which is super popular in general. And they also have the Mustang Mach-E, which is this like crossback electric vehicle. And these two vehicles are purely like electric and reservations are slowly going through. So Nikola Motors does have some major competition. When you have a car company that pretty much can't even reveal how many reservations they had for the Badger and a market cap the same size as a old industry like Ford, it's a little bit worrisome for NKLA because ever since the market cap was at around like $30 billion, people honestly started saying, is this a little bit too high? This is a little bit too high because it's almost the same market price as BMW. Just literally think about this. So, so far, I'm a little bit worried about Nikola Motors. I'm probably not touching the stock. Electric is the future. But of course, I really do hope like they don't really screw up because there's a lot of people that do have their money in this company. And keep in mind that the warrants for Nikola Motors are being exercised. So that is something that you guys should definitely keep in mind. And these warrants, once they all get exercised, they will be diluting the overall stock because when there's more stocks in the company, each share is worth less. Just to keep that in mind, and also there has been huge amounts of insider you know, selling involved in this company. And just to make sure that there has been a lot of top executives and also a lot of people in the company slowly selling millions and millions of dollars of stock. If you just type in Nikola Motors selling stock, you could probably see millions of filings have been going through 
to sell NKLA shares. So that's a little bit worrisome, and especially when you see a stock this choppy and a downward slope, it's not really a good sign, especially it has been hovering at like 68 to $71. Now it's at $58 and it could keep, keep dropping to 50 and $45. They really need to do some brand new information. They need to talk about the factory they're trying to open up in July. They have to talk about the new trucks and new vehicles coming out of Nikola World 2020 to make this stock recover. But so far, I mean, I really don't see a $20 billion market cap for a company that doesn't make money. It's a little bit unrealistic. I mean, if it's like 10 or $15 billion, I could probably agree that maybe they have some really good stuff coming out. But $20 to $30 billion, that's a little bit too much for me. That's about it. Thanks for watching.